Hey, my name is Siren from 25 Games, and today I want to create with you a game. Mm, it's more like an action adventure game, like Cortex. Clearly, every game needs a main character because this is the most important figure in the whole game. So let's start with the design. Okay, which kind of design should we make? Damn, there is so much to define first. You can't just make a random main character and fit the environment to it. You need to clarify which gender should our character have. Who is it? Is it a human or a creature? Or a technical construct? Does this character come from special culture? What is the past of this character? What is the motivation behind its doing? Which kind of clothes does it wear? Or which kind of hair should it have? Is it using weapons? There are too many questions you need to clarify first. So take a step back and talk about the world of this character. It's very important where the story should take place. To simplify this process, I will take our own created universe of Cortex. This game is our current main project we are working for. For more information about this universe, click on the link in the description. So this means our story will take place on a flying island. Every island could be different and so the environment design will change as well. For this video I want to create an island with pool vegetation, mm, many stones mm, and there should be hardly any daylight. A very dark environment. I like this. So how could this island look like? Which climate is on this island? Which kind of people could live there? Which culture is there? How do they live there? Again, so many questions. Well, okay, let's start with some sketches about our selected island. It's not important to draw high detailed concepts yet. Just focus on creating many different kinds of sketches to get a feeling about this environment. I want to present you three different variations of sketching. 1. Scribber As its name implies, everything what you do is scribbling around, till you get to a special form. I need to note that it doesn't really matter which brush you choose. You can nearly draw everything with every brush to get the same result. It depends only on your patientness. I would suggest to choose a basic brush with the use of pen pressure for color intensity and mark thickness. You just don't need to care about what you are drawing. If the same image gets too messy, change the layer opacity to 20%, create a new layer above and start scoring again. Two, grayscale. What you need to do here is selecting a thick brush and start blocking your scene. Work only with this grayscale pattern. Focus on the silhouette first. When you like your shape, Go on into further detail and add some shadow or light. It's not important to draw too many details to the scene. Try to stay under 20 minutes for each sketch. Three. Outline color. Very often you are able to use this method with an old scribble of yours, but you can just start sketching with this method as well. Use a solid brush with a clear stroke for the outline drawing. The brush stroke need to be clean and specifying. In this sketching version, there is no use of scribbling around with your brush. Be sure what you wanna draw.
When you finished your outlines, you can start with color. Create a new layer underneath your outline layer, define your colors and start blocking out. As you wanna, you can add as well some light and shadow parts to your sketch to get a feeling for volume. Basically this method is a little bit more than a sketch. It is as well possible to count this as a finished concept or a pre-stage of it. Perfect! Now I presented you my three ways to do quick and rough sketches to get the first ideas. We got some first impressions where our main character could live. Next we will think about the people and culture on this island. I would be really interested what you think about those three catches. Give me your opinion and write your favorite to the comments. We could go on together. Well guys, if something wasn't clear, so just let me know and write a comment. Thank you very much for watching. I would be very happy if you give us a like as well. I hope I see you next time on my video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.